What's up everybody, Aurel Lavinu here, and I have a personal life. My mother was there to testify against me. You haven't seen me conducting interviews. That was all very deliberate. At a child custody hearing, part of the official testimony being used against you is that you no longer believe in God. That hurt. If you've missed me at Fully Deconverted, if you haven't seen me in the forums, if you haven't seen me placing videos regularly, if you haven't seen me conducting interviews, that was all very deliberate. That was me taking time away from all of that to focus on what was most important. And it was ensuring that I gave everything I could to try to convince a judge why my sons should stay with me or not be taken away. I was not 100% certain of what the outcome would be. And as a result, I stepped back from doing a lot of interviews, being very involved in the forums and not that whole sort of thing with Fully Deconverted to focus on things that I know I needed to accomplish while my sons were here and if I was going to keep them here. So this is me just updating you on my personal life. Surprise, surprise, I have one. And, um, and maybe an opportunity for you to get to know me a little bit better before I decide what the future of Fully Deconverted and I will look like. The first thing you need to know about me is, number one, for as long as I've had sons, I have been a dedicated father. I have loved them, I have provided for them, I have done everything I could imagine along the way while learning to be a parent on how to parent them most effectively. If there's one thing I realized throughout this whole parenthood journey, it's that I want to be a father more than I want to be anything else. I love my sons more than I love anyone else. My mother doesn't want to not have a relationship with my boys. So part of this court hearing that very recently occurred, my mother was present for. In fact, my mother was there to testify against me. That said, I had people that were behind me and who stood with me and who testified on my behalf as a father. I was just really, really proud of that moment for myself, for those who stood with me, and for the testimony that we all offered up in regards to my fatherhood toward the children and the quality of our experiences shared together. You know, I'm the father that plays on the playground with them, like running, jumping, climbing, coordinating, organizing games and that whole sort of thing. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm out there. People got to think that I'm my son's older brother. That's what kind of father I am. And that's the way I grew up having fun. And that's the experiences I value with my sons. The judge did decree in favor of the mother having full custody. And that hurt. That hurt. I just wasn't ready for it for one and two, for it not to be with me. Sidestepping from what my emotions about that might be, I want to share one more thing with you. You heard me say that my mother came to testify. She was there advocating on behalf of my ex-wife, the boys' mother, that the boys go stay with her because they all live very close. When asked why our relationship, the relationship between my mother and I, was so strained, my mother said it all started when he stopped believing in God. 
it's just disturbing. That was said in a courtroom. My own mother saying that about me, but not just that, not just about me, but presented as justification for why my boys shouldn't be with me. While it was laughable to kind of like look at the irony of life and just be like, of course, this would be used against me in some official setting. Of course, of course it would. In preparation for a moment such as that, having stepped away from fully deconverted and focused more on family life, I continue to reflect on the value of my presence in fully deconverted and for any support regarding, uh, you know, my children no longer being with me and, you know, being somewhere else and with a loving mother. Um, you know, I, I appreciate that. To those who have offered their support, I appreciate you. Again, I was prepared for that, and so were my sons. Thank you for excusing me online for the past month or two. We will see each other in the future. This was just me wanting to update everybody. And uh, I guess we'll leave it at that for now. I don't know exactly what I'll do, but when I do, you'll know. Take care. Leave it in the comments. Hello, this is Fully Deconverted, and today we will uh, be showing how uh, how you need to dye your hair. Okay, uh, first, uh, okay, you need to get the dye, and you need to spray it into a cup. You need to get a brush, and then the person that you're dyeing their hair, uh, you have to get that brush, and you have to rub it on their hair. And then, and then they need to go take a shower, but then their hair will turn blonde. And I know some people might think that their that their hair color didn't turn out right, but trust me, that's but trust me, you that's you are not done. We'll be back same time next week. We'll be back same time next week. Say bye. Bye bye. Sign off. Huh. What about that, Dad? Yeah, I see you.